The following is a class on Bhagavad Gita. As it is, first chapter, text number 26th and 27th, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on 21st July 1973 in London, England. Shri Guram Translation. There Arjuna could see, within the midst of the armies of both parties, his fathers, grandfathers, teachers, maternal uncles, brothers, sons, grandsons, friends, and also his father-in-law and well-wishers, all present there. Translation. When the son of Kunti, Arjuna, saw all these different grades of friends and relatives, he became overwhelmed with compassion and spoke thus. <clears throat> This is the problem. Now, Arjuna is facing the problem. Uh, what is this problem? Suppose you bring all my friends, my relatives, <coughs> my sons, grandsons, my father-in-law, brother-in-law, friends, my animals, because there are soldiers, Srinaya, Rubhayuropi, there are animals also, horses, elephants, uh, they are also within the membership. According to uh, Vedic conception, the animals, they are also members of your family, uh, because they are giving service. Not that one section of the members of my family I give protection and the other section I take everything from them and then cut through. This is not civilization. Uh, you keep your sons, wife, daughters, cows, dogs, their animals, asses, domestic and horses, Elephants, if you are rich, you can keep elephants also. It does not mean either family wise or state wise. It does not mean that you give protection to some member and cut throat of the other. Oh, how horrible it is. Hmm. So all of them were present now. And the problem is that he has to kill them. Or it is fight. It is a family fight. Uh, so some of the family members on the other side and some of the family members this side. So other side also, what are they? The Tatlapasat Sitan Patha Pitrin of Pitamahan. Pitrin teacher. And Pitrin also, Pitrin means those who are on the status of father. And Bhishma Dev was a grandfather, real grandfather, Pitamaha. He is on the other side. Dronacharya, he is on the other side, teacher. They are to be respected. Actually, Arjun did so before fighting with Dronacharya. He first of all throws one arrow on his lotus tree. Obeisance. This is the etiquette. My dear sir, you have taught me this fighting science. Now it is being used against you. Duty. Uh, so I offer my obeisance. And Gunatharja also threw another arrow touching his head. My dear boy, become blessed. This is the How blessed by killing me. Uh, I know you will kill me. So I give you blessing that you kill me. This is the uh, The disciple is fighting, touching the feet of Donacharya. My dear sir, it is duty. Now you are face to face to fight. So give me your blessing. Uh, this is one side. 
the other side blessing yes you are my all blessing so this is the problem this material world is problematic especially when we have got this family relationship society friendship and love divinely bestowed upon man this <laughs> it is not divinely bestowed it is not it is entanglement uh, it is entanglement uh, griha patta ha uh, uh, mm, there is bhars in the second canto of smad ba mm. deha patta what is that bhars ha uh, deha देहापत्र कलत्रादि देह फर्स्ट एफेक्शन इज विथ आवर बॉडी आई एम दिस मिस्टर सेकंड सेंस दिस इज आई एम दिस बॉडी आई हैव गॉट अट्रैक्शन फॉर दिस बॉडी हां देन द ऑफस्प्रिंग्स द बाय प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ दिस बॉडी अपत्य अपत्य मींस चिल्ड्रन Uh, and how this by product is made kalatra through a three three means which expands uh bista uh expands i am alone i accept why three and with her cooperation i expand so one who helps me to expand that is called three Every Sanskrit word has got meaning. Why woman is called stri? Because she helps expanding myself. Hmm. How expanding? The half of the kalatra di su. I get my children. Uh, first of all, I was affectionate to my body. Then, as soon as I get a wife, I become affectionate to her. then as soon as i get children i become affectionate to children in this way i expand my affection for this material world hmm. this material world attachment ah it is not required it is a foreign thing ah this material body is foreign i am spiritual i am spiritual aham brahmasmi but because i want it to lord it over the material nature krishna has given me this body devanatrena he is giving you body he is giving the body of brahma he is giving you the body of ant as you desire as you desire uh, if you want the body of a tiger krishna will give you if you want the body of a hog he will give you if you want the body of brahma he will give you If you want the body of a demigod, he'll give you. If you want the body of an American, he'll give you. Englishman, he'll give you. India, he'll give you. That is Krishna. He's so kind. Jeeva thamang prabodhante tang to thiyo bhajam yaham. Ah, Krishna is very kind. Ah, just like a son disobedient to the father. But he wants to enjoy something. He's still father giving. All right, you take money, ninja. Hmm. Father is so kind. You become free, whatever you like and do, you take some money. Hmm. This is our concession. This material life is a concession to us, given by God for gratifying our senses. This is material. Hmm. Krishna does not want that you become entangled in this material world. That he doesn't want. And why he should want? Ah, huh. Krishna just like you produce your sons, children. Why to remain in household life, enjoy in the company of wife, children, friends? This is one can understand. Why I take so much responsibility of family? 
I was alone. Why I get married? Why I beget children? Why I make friends? Eh? Because I want to enjoy. So Krishna is also a person. Huh? Nitya nitya naam chitana chitana naam. He has produced so many children. These living entities. Why? To enjoy along with them. Just try to understand the cycle. Uh, Jato ba imani bhutani jayanti. Janmat dasya jata. Where this idea came from. That I shall be happy within uh, society, friendship and love children. What, where from this idea came? Where is the origin? The origin is there in Krishna. Janmat dasya jata. Uh, Janmat dasya jata. Uh, the origin of love. Uh, just like Krishna is loving. Radha. So, the loving idea came from Krishna. Uh, anything that is, that is within our experience, that is in Krishna. So, Krishna cannot be impersonal. That is nonsense. Uh, Krishna is exactly a person like me, you. But the difference is that is very, very unlimitedly powerful. I am living. This is the difference. Uh, so Krishna also wants uh, that uh, to live with his family. Our Krishna consciousness movement is just to train ourselves again to enter into the family of Krishna. This is our uh, With these families, the so-called families, we are suffering. Uh, we are suffering. But this family idea is there. That is perfect in Krishna, with Krishna. The family idea, what from this family idea comes? Without it is being situated in Krishna. Because nothing can be visible without being in Krishna. He is the origin. Janmat dasyajata. Aham sarva saprabhava. I am the origin of everything. Uh, so, whatever we are seeing in this material world, the origin is in Krishna. Uh, but here it is parvhatri. That is the only difference. Just like a tree, the original tree is standing erect. But when you see the parvhatri reflection of the tree, everything is top -sitized. The upside has gone down. Uh, you have seen the reflection uh, of the tree. So the upside downside, when the upside of the tree becomes downside, that is called parvati reflection. So this material world is parvati reflection of the spiritual world. Uh, <coughs> it is false in this sense because it is reflection. Uh, Otherwise, uh, exactly the same thing are there in the spiritual world. Urdha mulam madho sakha asatham abhyam vidu. There is in the Bhagavad Gita, you will find in the 15th chapter. Urdha mulam. Here, this material world, the origin, mulam means root, is upside. Upside. Because it is reflection. Uh, this tree is erect and this is reflection. So the root has gone upside. So here is the problem. Because we are attached to our this so-called family, uh, society, friendship, and love. When Arjuna was faced, uh, then he became Kripaya paraya vishta visidan idam abravi. Uh, how is this possible? Uh, Krishna, that I have to kill the other side. Uh, my fathers, my father-in-law, my grandfather, my sons, my grandsons, my brother, my so many friends. Uh, so it is natural. Kripaya uh, paraya avisht. He becomes overwhelmed with compassion. Kripaya paraya avishta 
विशीदन वेरी मैडे मरोस कृष्ण आई हैव टू फाइट विद दैम आई हैव टू किल दैम Why this consciousness came? The other side also Dujjodha. Huh? Why he did not think in that way? Why Arjun is thinking? Because he is devotee. There is a difference. Huh? A devotee thinks like that. Huh? A devotee does not like to kill anyone, even an ant. Why he should be encouraged to kill his friend? Uh, a devotee is like Jashas uh, Bhakti uh, Bhagavati Akinchana Sarvai Gunai Tatra Samasati Sura. This is the result of devotional life. Arjun was insulted, Arjun was taken away, all is belonging. Arjun was banished for 13 years. His wife was insulted. Uh, so many atrocities. Was done to him. Still, when the question of killing came, he was not very happy. No, this is Vishnu. This is Vishnu. He is ready to excuse even the greatest enemy. Uh, but Krishna does not want. If you insult his devotee, the devotee may excuse, but Krishna will not excuse. This is Krishna's. Therefore, be careful to insult a devotee. A devotee may excuse you. But Krishna will not excuse you. Oh, Krishna is so strict. He cannot tolerate any insult to his devotee. Oh, therefore, this arrangement of fighting. Oh, Arjun wanted, no, let them be excused. Krishna wanted, no, you must fight. You must kill them. This is the position. Uh, so he is within the dilemma. Krishna is insisting that he must fight and kill them. But he is thinking, how shall I kill my kinsman? Uh, this is the problem. Therefore, he is All friends are there. Gripaya uh, Parayavishta. Uh, so this is one sign uh, that if you want to please Krishna, then you have to prepare for killing your so-called relatives. If you want Krishna, if you want to please Krishna. Uh, so this whole Vedic civilization is made just to train how you can be detached from this so-called family affection. This is Vedic training. Uh, first of all, Brahmachari. Brahmachari means uh, to lead the life of austerity. Uh, a Brahmachari is uh, supposed to lead, uh, to serve the spiritual master at his home. And he has to work just like a million. Uh, he may be a uh, king's son or a very great Brahmin son. But as soon as he agrees to live with the spiritual master, he has to live just like a menial servant. Uh, whatever the spiritual master will order, he has to do. Uh, this is Brahmacharya. And they would gladly do because their children. Uh, Brahmachari life begins from five years. So, you ask any ch child to anything, he will do. Mm. They are learned. They are given education. Go from door to door, house to house, and bring some arms. So, Brahmachari means the neighborhood, their sons. So, when the Brahmachari goes for begging, Mother, give me something, arms, immediately, some rice, some dal. Some atta is given, or some vegetables, sometimes some money. So they bring everything to the spiritual master and it becomes the property of the spiritual master. Because he has begged, it is not his property. 
Sarvasam Guru Vidu. Everything is Guru's power. So much so that after cooking everything, the spiritual master will call, my dear boys, come on, take Pusala. But if he forgets to call somebody, he will not touch. He will not touch. This is Brahmacharya. Oh, spiritual master has not called me. So, I will fast. <laughs> he baked the rice and vegetables and atta and dal. It is cooked. And when it is cooked, that is also spiritual master property. If the spiritual master does not ask him to take, he cannot take. He cannot touch. This is Brahmacharya. Uh-huh. So, therefore, the first training is given to become austere, uh, tolerant. How to tolerate? How to call other women as mother? He's learning from the beginning, a small child. Uh, he's trained up to call any woman, uh, even of his own age, not sister, mother. Uh, this is the trend. Matribat paradareshu. This is education. Matribat paradareshu. Chanaka Pandi, the great politician, has given the definition of a learned scholar. Who is learned scholar? He has given the definition. What is this? Matribat paradareshu. To see every woman except his wife as mother. This is education. Uh, this is education, perfection of education, when you can see all women except your wife as mother. This is education. Matribat paradareshu. Paradarbeshu lostrava. And others' property, just like garbage in the street. Then nobody is interested in the garbage. You throw. Huh? And that is education. And atavasaru bhuteshu. And thinking all living entities as your own self. If you feel pains and pleasure by something, you could not afflict the pains and pains to others. If your throat is cut, if your head is cut, you feel so much pain, how you can cut the head of another animal? This is education. Samas Sarvesu Bhuteshu. This is education. Three things. This is the test of education. Matribat paradareshu, paradarbeshu, roshramat, atavarsaga bhuteshu, japasati sa pandita. Where is? Where is that pandit? Uh, there is no such thing. No. Hmm. So, uh, this problem, attachment for this material world, uh, gradually, we have to cut it. Uh, that is the Vedic civilization. Uh, if you want to go back to home, back to Godhead, then at the same time, if you remain attached to this material world, so-called society, fancy by love, then it is not possible. Uh, so long you will have a pinch of attraction with this material world. <coughs> There is no possibility of being transferred to the spiritual world. This is the position. Uh, therefore, by training, by education, we have to become detached. Uh, detached. This society fancy my love. We have to understand the falsity of this so-called society fancy my love. It is just like because we are being carried away by the waves of Maya, Bhaktivinoda Thakur has sung, Maya Ravasi Jatcho Bheshe Khatcho Habu Dugu Bhai. Uh, uh, just like we see sometimes in rainy season, uh, so many plants and creepers and vegetables and so many other things are floating in the river going. Similarly, we also are all floating in the waves of Maya. Maya, Vasi, Jatcha, Vasi. Katcha, Abudu, sometimes drown, sometimes on the surface, sometimes on the other shore, sometimes this shore. This is going on. So long 
we are in this material world we are being tossed by different currents and sometimes i am here as a master of some kingdom and sometimes i am dog of somebody else this is my position uh the same thing very good example that we are being carried away by the waves of maya sometimes we are gathering together so many straws and vegetables to gather together and sometimes the same vegetable and straws are thrown asunder uh, one is there one is here so here also we assemble here uh, as society principle of love exactly like that uh, in the waves of maya there nobody is your father nobody is your mother nobody is your sister nobody it is simply a uh, maik illusory combination illusory combination temporary combination and we are so much attached to this combination that we are refusing to go back to home back to home. this is all therefore we have to meet them in the battle field of kurukshetra and if required we have to kill them and execute the order of kushan this is our uh, if you are thinking that in this material existence i shall be saved assisted by my society fancy law country and politics and sociology no no sir it is not possible it is not possible uh, you have to take care of yourself your so called society fancy love country in asan and this will never you will be able to help you because you are under the clutches of maya they will jisa guna mai mama maya durutya prakite kramalani guni karmani sarvasa ahankar vimura atma karta ham niti mannate you are under the clutches of maya oh. you have no independence neither anyone has got any independence to save you that's not possible oh. the same example as i gave some time that you learn how to drive a airplane so you go high in the sky but if you are in danger no other airplane can help you we are finished ah oh. therefore you must be a very careful pilot to take care of you. Uh, similarly in this material world everyone individually has to take care of himself how he can be saved from the clutches of maya that is krishna consciousness moment a teacher can give you hints uh, the acharya can give you hints that you can be saved in this way but the execution of the duties that is in your hand uh if you perform the spiritual duties rightly then you are saved uh, otherwise if acharya gives you instruction if you don't follow so how he can save you uh, he can save you by instruction by his mercy as much as possible but you have to take it in your hand seriously uh, so this problem is uh, arjun is facing now this problem uh, that is general problem deha pat kalatra disu deha pat deha means his body apatta means still kalatra means why deha pat kalatra disu atma sanneshu asasu api we are thinking that we shall be protected by my this soul Uh, i have got my sons grandsons my grandfather my father in law my brother in law my so many society pension everyone is thinking that my nation my community uh, my philosophy my politics no nothing can say the hapat kalatra di su asasu api they are all temporary uh, they come and go असस्तु अपी प्रमत्या तस्य निधलम पश्चन्न अपी न पश्चन्ति वन इज टू मच अटैच्ड टू दिस सोसाइटी फेंसिबल ला ही इज प्रमत्त 
परमात्मा मीन्स क्रेजी बैड मैन क्वेश्चन अपनी न कश्यन निधनम ही डज नॉट सी ऑल दी इज सी देन माई फादर एज डैड वेन आई वॉज ए चाइल्ड माई फादर वॉज गिविंग मी प्रोटेक्शन नाउ माई फादर इज गॉन आई वे हु इज गिविंग मी प्रोटेक्शन इज माई फादर अ लाइफ टू गिव मी प्रोटेक्शन हु इज गिविंग मी प्रोटेक्शन माई मादर वॉज गिविंग मी प्रोटेक्शन नाउ हु इज गिविंग मी प्रोटेक्शन Uh, I was in family. Uh, my sons, my daughters, my wife. I left them. Now he is giving me protection. I actually Krishna gives you protection always. Not your society friends, your Allah. They will be finished. Ah, uh, as your father is finished, as your grandfather is finished. Similarly, your son, grandson will be finished. None of them will be able to give you protection. Only Krishna will be given to protection. Therefore, you surrender to Krishna. Sarva dharma on paritta jamaami kam saranam bhaya. Aham ko asar bo papa jama. I shall give you protection. Kono the apadhi jani hi ami bhaktap pranasthi. My devotee is never vanquished. Uh, so the best thing is to take to Krishna consciousness, fully surrender unto Him. And you will be protected. Otherwise, there is no other way of being protected. Uh, we will be carried away by the waves of mind. This is the point. Thank you very much.